What's up, everybody? I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. Welcome back to another Tabi Eats video. And this is a new series, guys. We're starting a new series showing you guys the best food to eat here in Tokyo. Today, we're visiting three restaurants that serve katsu sando, which are pork cutlet sandwiches. This is Ai from Ai's Munchies. We are collaborating with her throughout the entire series. So I think tonkatsu is like your favorite food in the entire world. Yes, my soul food, I right? should say, yes. Yeah? So she knows more about tonkatsu and pork cutlet sandwiches. So we're leaving it up to her to show us the three best places to go for these katsu sandwiches. So where's the first place we're going? This is there! It's called Udagawa. Uh -huh. it's, we are actually at Nihonbashi and this is a, one of the best, best tonkatsu I ever had. Looking forward to it! Yes, we should just go and order it! Let's do it! Hi, Dan. Okay, so it's been two hours. The reason I waited for two hours, why, Aisan? Because all the sauce and the bread meat nicely mixed together. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take a bite. And can I just say that these are huge sandwiches? I mean, I can't, I can hardly see the bread. I know. Oh I my know. Well, god! He on purposely made this like this. Oh my god, okay, here we go. Yeah. Back to he specially ordered this meat for sandwiches because when he makes it, it doesn't look like too small. So, he does it on purpose. It's just so huge. Oh my god. This sandwich is, is only taking out. I mean, only for taking out. Okay. So, you have to kind of call it. If you want to eat it at lunchtime, you have to call it before. I see, so you have to order it in advance. Yeah, in advance. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I know you really got to open your mouth big for this. Because these are big sandwiches. Mm -hmm. It's like steak, right? It's like tonkatsu steak. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I am like super impressed with this sandwich. Wow, I love it. This is beyond anything I've had ever. I've never had casa sandwiches like this ever. So this shop has been in business since 1967. One year younger than me, you gotta respect that. This place is called Udagawa. Check it out if you're hungry for some massive katsu mm. Udagawa in Nihonbashi. Next to Katsando is from Maisen. This is a very popular shop. We went to the, the main branch in Aoyama. But today, unfortunately, it is closed. Don't, don't worry, they are everywhere. We bought from Toyoko Norengai in Shibuya Mark City. And the price is 842 yen. I love it. I almost have this like every week. Every actually. week? Yeah. Wow. So let's try. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, I so, know how it tastes, so please go ahead. Oh, may I? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ooh, look at this thick katsu. Thick katsu. Mm, I love this. And the sauce, you can see it around the katsu. The sauce is a sweet tonkatsu sauce, and the, but the katsu really tender. Amazing. It's so good. and the, Bread is soft, it's blended with this sauce flavor and katsu flavor. So nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so please have it. <laughs> Itadakimasu! Mm -hmm. mm. It's good as usual. The Maisen one is the 
the size is smaller than the first one, but and the taste is sweeter. Don't you think so? Sauce is just completely different. This is really, really like the sauce that I know. But the different one, the other one tastes like more of vegetables. Every time I have this, I feel like three is actually enough for my breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's just so convenient and I love it. It's just so, I don't know, this is just like a fast breakfast. How about it? I love it. So, Maisen. Mm -hmm. I've been to the Maisen restaurant a few times myself to eat their tonkatsu, which is pretty oh, delicious. The tonkatsu? Yeah. Mm. And uh, of course, you know, I, I eat this. Um, I, I usually get this for lunch or when we have a party. Someone always brings a box of these. So I know what this tastes like. These are really good. Really difficult to compare to the first one we had. But anyway, let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. Yup, yup. That familiar mice and taste. That sauce is a little bit sweeter than the other one. Like Aizen said, the other one had more of a vegetable taste. Um, the meat is very tender. Flavor is spot on. You cannot go wrong with this. The price is like half the price of the first one. So whatever your decision is, which which one you think is better, I think it really depends on you. Um, I don't know. I like both equally. I can't judge right now. I'm gonna finish the rest of this box. Mm -hmm. So Aisan, yeah. this is the last stop on our Katsu Sando tour. That's right. So yeah. where are we now? We are at Ebisu Kimukatsu. Kimukatsu. Yeah. Okay. The Katsando here is totally different from others. Oh, I mean, how, you can actually that? see how different this is. Oh it's my all goodness. Layered. Layered. Yeah. Really. Like, like all the meats are layered. Really. Here is Katsando. Look, this is different. As Aisan mentioned, this is layered. Mm. So many layered. I mean, I just heard that they actually slice the mm -hmm, meat mm -hmm. then make them katsu so this is just i mean how you chew it i mean the texture of it should be really different from mm -hmm, others mm -hmm. so you should try it out yeah. we ordered two types plain and cheese mm -hmm. so first let's eat the plain one wine, wine. yes so please okay, okay. Sigoi. Sigoi. look so, how thick this oh. is I wonder uh, if I can just put it in my mouth. Look, so soft. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Ding! Sigoi, dekai! It's variety of texture. The outside, the bread, mm. soft, smooth. I think it's because it's layered. Mm -hmm. You can taste like really different taste of pork. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I don't know, the layers makes it so different that I actually got to know now. The pork taste is much stronger than the sauce flavor. I That's think so really, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting. I don't know, do you like it? I like this. Oh, really? Mm, I like this. It's just so enjoyable. It is. Well, after those delicious descriptions that I and Satoshi gave you guys, of course I gotta try it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Itadakimasu. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. Definitely the strongest taste is the pork. Mm. I can definitely taste the pork. Of course I can taste the sauce, but it's more porky than sauce. You know, once again, all the layers of the meat is kind of incredible because each layer of pork is so thin. It's like paper thin. Mm. I can see like at least 15, 20 layers of pork right into this bite of sandwich. It's incredible. This is a cheese one, the cheese version of the katsu sandwich. The cheese inside the layers of the pork, I'm just so excited. I know, me too. You can see the cheese oozing out from Ooh. here. And you can see the sauce, you can see all the layers again. I love the melty cheese because they actually warmed up. Mm -hmm. That's why it's just so melted. I know, it's oh, so exciting. exciting. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Mm. Mm. I like this a little better. <laughs> I gotta say, the one with the cheese is mm. better. Mm. 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 I was kind of tired, you know, about five minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but she was saying, Oh my gosh, Nichi, you're like so low on energy. What's the matter with you? But well, did it, it give true. you energy? It kind of did. Oh, wow. You know, something put something good in my mouth and that gives me instant energy all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the cheese mm. makes the sandwiches taste deeper, right? I think so. It complements the meat mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. Bread, like this thick bread, mm -hmm. cheese. Pork. Good bread, by the way. Yeah, it's just so great combination, isn't mm, it? Mm -hmm. And then of course this thick bread, mm -hmm. but it's just so fluffy. Uh, it just doesn't bother you at mm -hmm. all when you bite it. Interesting thing is the first place we went to, you could hardly see the bread. There was mm. almost no bread, whereas this mm -mm. one, mm -mm. these are thick slices of bread. We got this uh, side order of uh, tonkatsu with uh, negi shio, which is uh, scallions and salt. Um, you can order from a different range of fillings. They also have one that includes ume inside and some other things that I can't remember right now. So there's a whole bunch of uh, sauces they can use. They have ponzu sauce, they have your regular tonkatsu sauce with mustard. They also have salt. And so wh what do you think we should try you it You know with? What? what? Because it's a negi shio, mm -hmm. which is what? Spring onion and then uh, salt. Oh, salt yeah. I'll go with ponzu, which is my favorite one. Oh my god, you sound so excited. <laughs> okay. I'm going to eat mine with a little bit of salt. Oh really? It's because it's actually got scallions and salt. Really? It's also uh, already inside it. That's okay. And you're going to put more salt. I'm going to put more salt in here. Alright. just want to keep mine unadorned. How about you? Okay, I'm going to go for... Of course, ponzu. Ponzu. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm, mm. oh, that's nice. It's tender. Mmm, mm. I feel like this is more tender than the sandwich. That's what I was gonna say. Right? Mm. It's just totally different. Oh my god! And it's just so tasty. It is. I'm gonna try um, my other half with the ponzu, like you did. Sorry, I just went one go. <laughs> Dear. Look, like you have a bigger mouth than I do. <laughs> I do. Mmm. Oh, the mm. ponzu works. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Better. Mm. I know it. Ton, ton, <laughs> tonkatsu, tonkatsu master. Yes. We'll call her the tonkatsu master. I will eat this negi shio. I'm very looking forward to eat negi shio. I love negi shio. Scary on salt. Mm. Put on the, put into this the the the, the, the ponzu. Put into this ponzu sauce. Beautiful, beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Very tender and it's so flavorful. And this, in this case, in this Negishio case, bones match pretty well. And they also have other flavor, yuzu gosho, garlic, and black pepper. I want to try all of these flavors. Of course, they have plum and cheese. And like Shinji mentioned, Plum flavor. Seven flavors. I have to come to come here seven times. Now the great thing about this restaurant, I know this is important to many of you. They do have English menus. No worries guys. Okay, so we tried three katsu sando from three different places. First of all, can I say thank you, Aisan, for finding these thank places? Thank you very much, Aisan. Yeah, I'm just so happy you guys enjoyed all three sandwiches. We really did. All we three really sandwiches are different. Yeah. Yes, yeah. totally different. That's why I actually wanted to introduce to you. Those are really new, mm -hmm. new to you, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, before we uh, started filming this uh, video, I was thinking that by the third place we go, I would be bored of katsu sando. Mm. But they're, I, I'm not. I mean, they're all so completely different. And you know, I could go back to each one of them again because I liked all of them. Mm -hmm. It's right. really difficult for me to choose. Yeah, and also I have so many other ones as well. Oh my god, oh my really? God. You guys want to see part two? Let us know in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. This is the first video of a series that we're doing with our friend I from Eyes Munchies. We're going to be showing you the best places to eat, the best place to find the best food in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing this. It's going to be a pretty long collaboration 
throughout the entire year. So I hope you guys stay tuned for more videos like this one. If you're new to our channel and you like videos like this, please subscribe and don't forget to go over to Ai's channel because she's gonna show you the best tonkatsu place in the entire city. Thank you for watching. See you next food adventure. Bye. Bye.